What's going on, my fellow YouTubians? Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Well, I wanted to kick off the uh, my series with the AK-47 and AK-7040 mags. So, I um, picked up uh, a few of these uh, rare uh, magazines here uh, at a gun show <clears throat> a few days ago during the week weekend actually um, so I was happy to run into these so uh, so these are still packaged brand new um, and uh, here it is so uh, let me open this one for you guys as you can see still in the wrapper so the, this was an amazing find for me. So let's go pop it open. See if any of you guys would know which magazine is this. Um, so I'm gonna put it down here, and uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a uh, history lessons of this magazine here. Um, so, as you guys know, um, when the Soviets, uh, Soviet Union started uh, production of the AK-47 in, in the late 1948, at the, which is the other factory that was known as called the uh, Isavex Is machine plant. Sorry if I butchered that name. But as a lot of you guys know, it's also known as the Ismash uh, plant. And you guys know it came with uh, the standard 30 round magazine. And uh, as you guys know, this one is the Russian slab side magazine. <clears throat> and you guys know it gets its name from its smooth uh, stamp sides on there. Um, and was produced only by the Ismash uh, factory. And uh, they are relatively rare in design. Uh, was replaced before AK production was started at another factory. So... These are the original AK mags here that uh, were designed for the uh, AK-47 in 1948. So these are very rare, rare mags here and they get quite pricey as well. Um, so the Russian uh, slab magazine are generally covered in Spectre stamps. Um, I will go through that uh, and get a close up. Um, but the Ismash factory, uh, uh, <clears throat> as you can, you guys know, has the feathered arrow and triangle, and will be found uh, on the stamp low on the back of the mag's uh, body. So I'll show you guys that as well. And then it, you know it's made from one thing of millimeter steel, and it's very durable and heavy. And then uh, the original had a blue finish, but appeared to have been later uh, refinished with a black enamel coating. So this is, uh, it might be, you know, with the enamel coating, but uh, hard to tell. So, uh, um, as you guys know, so uh, let's see if we get a close-up of this one. So I started, I wanted to start the series with an original AK uh, magazine here. So, let me see. As you guys can see here, um, it's got all kinds of stamps on here. Um, let me see if I can show you the uh, the actual um, stamps, and then let me see. It's got some more stamps on here. Well, as you can see, there it is, right there. There's a few more over here. Sorry about the lighting. Um, and here's the uh, the triangle that they were talking about with the arrow right there. A little bit hard notice, but uh, then it's got all kinds of uh, uh, engravings and stampings along the side. So, just amazing, um, and these vary in prices, um, 
So you can find these within, I'll say probably the cheapest I've seen them go for is around 70 bucks. From 70 bucks to almost 300 bucks. So um, it all depends on the seller and who's selling them. So these are very rare when, especially when they're getting uh, shipped into the states. So, um, so yeah, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys will enjoy this series. Um, I would do all sorts of magazines um, that I can get my hands on, um, but I figure I started off with the uh, the original uh, Russian Soviet Union uh, slab uh, slab side magazine. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, um, uh, anything thing that I missed on here as well. Um, Sure, would like your guys' input. Um, so there's more of the uh, engravings and markings, stamps, and all that. But uh, definitely a beautiful collector's piece to have here. Um, if you guys have uh, never seen one of these, so uh, I was just happy uh, I was able to get my hands on one of these babies here. And for some reason, my lighting is just terrible here. There we go. All right. Well, so here it is, guys. The original AK-47 um, Russian slap side magazine, 30 rounder. So I uh, hope you guys will enjoy the series, and hopefully it will help you guys determine uh, the uh, the Russian mags. So uh, and there's the stamp again down here. All right, guys. Well. Uh, We'll be making these small, short videos on the mags that I recently got. I have a few more, and definitely uh, we'll try to find the rare ones as well. So uh, it's going to be a journey, and uh, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy this series. So uh, remember, take care, and always stay safe.